Hi guys, it's Sarah 1602 here, and today's video I'm going to be doing Blender 2.77a tutorial. Um, I'm basically just going to go over what I've been doing at college. Now it's just mainly for me, but if you are watching it and you like it, subscribe obviously. But it's mainly for a reference for myself, so to look back on and that. Um, okay, so I'll be just so just bear with me because I'm a bit I'm still a bit thingy, but. Away we go. All and F11 makes it go full screen. So there we go. Let's delete our cube. Okay. First things first, let's sort out our floor. So you click that plain button for the floor. Click on this little button here. So then we can make it longer or like the width and stuff, the scale of it. Um, so say say your room was um, six foot by six foot. Okay, let, let's make it a bit more interesting. <coughs> say seven foot by um, five foot. That'll do. Right. Okay. So there's our floor. Okay. Um. So. What we want to do is we want to bring the, up the walls, okay? So what we do there is, first of all, we need to click on this button here, go to edit mode, then we need to click on tools, and we we want to split this. Um, you see this? This is one square at the moment. So what I want to do, um, I want to make it. I want to subdivide it so then there's like more. So if we, the more times we click on this button, though, the the more um, vertices and edges and stuff we get. So let's just do that three times, okay? So there we go, okay? So and then what what we need to do is we need to ex extrude it, okay? So we click on extrude individually, okay? And then, um, no. Okay, so down here we click on. Let's just go back a bit. And I did. Okay, so we click on this bit here because we just want to do these sides here. So we just hold the shift button down so you can click on more than one. So you go all the way around the um, the room by clicking on the edges only. Okay. So there we go. Nearly done. Nearly done. And there we go, done. Right, okay, so we click on the extrude individually and then we can move it up and down. Okay? Now if we press um which axis is that? So if we press Z, okay, on the keyboard, it'll lock it onto an axis. Okay, so there we go. So let's say our room wants to be like this high. Okay? Um, yeah, that looks okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to sort out our doors. So to sort out your doors, you go down here, and you've got this um, button here, this um, loop cut and slide. So you click on that, and then you'll see this purple line. Um, so you click on. Well, it could be pink. You click on about here, and then it, you can go up and down. So say, say door height will come up to about here. Okay, there, there's our door height. Okay, so that's that seems about right. Okay, so and then what we do is to to remove an object from the wall, um, we click on this button down here, which is for faces. Okay, now each one of these dots is a face. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove some faces so then we can make a doorway. So if we, say we wanted a door over there, okay, so we just just click on the face and then, okay, we're going to have a big door, okay, double doors, okay, so then we just delete them faces. So we just delete the faces. So that there's that door, okay, right, um, doesn't look like much like a door. So, because, I mean, doors aren't flat, are they? So what we do is we click on this um, button here for the edges. And then um, we, we go across to, to the corners. 
Okay, hold your shift button down like I didn't. Okay, so you go around and then extrude individually. Then we'll find out what axis it is, so I think it might be X. So then you just like pull it out a little bit. Yeah, and there you go. Okay, now let's do that around the other side as well because, you know, the door's gonna. Actually, that's okay. Um. Yeah. Now what we do is we um. We put in the windows. So now say, I'm actually just doing this off my mind. So let's let's say we're gonna do windows around. Okay, this could be like a boardroom meeting room. Okay, so there okay so now now to um we've locked that in now so now we need to delete some faces okay so in our boardroom meeting room we're gonna have all this section here as a window okay so you click on the two yeah oh no that's um god damn it right i need it to one more okay that just looks wrong okay but it's okay because it's a boardroom meeting and people that go to boardroom meetings are wrong so here we go um I was only joking there. Right, okay, um so we so we delete these. Okay, and then we could have another door here, say. Um Yeah, let's go for another door around here. Okay. And as you can tell it's a, a weird looking room. Okay, so let's delete them faces too. Okay. And then we want to click on this button here, which does the edges. So then you go around all the ones on the side wall. Okay. And there we go. We're doing that now. And okay. And our red line is the X axis. So we click on extrude individually. Press on the keyboard X. And then we can just bring that out a little bit. Okay. Okay, yeah. Actually, that's a little bit too much. So let's click on extrude individually. Press X. Um. Okay, that's a bit weird. Okay, ignore that bit. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So what we're doing? We select the edges, and then we do it around the other side. Okay. That that looks fine. This is our boardroom walls and floor. Okay, so we've done them ones. Oh, hang on. Right, okay, so let's do that again. I had the other one selected so it would have made it look weird. Okay, so you just go off the same wall and then click around it. Okay, and that's done. Okay, yeah. Um, then you click on extrude individually and then we, we need to find out what thing it access it is so it's Y. So we press Y and then we pull it out a little bit and then we lock it in and there's that. So our doors are done all apart from that one. So let's do this wall and then we're gonna finish it up there because that's all I've um learned at the moment so I've just been practicing it really. So um so we click on that dips button here for the edges. So then we go around the edge of the room the door sorry and then we find out what axis it is by looking down here so it's a y axis so we click on this press y and we pull it out a bit and there's our other door and that guys is our room that's going to be our boardroom so i'm going to probably put a table in the middle um maybe a plant pot in the corner maybe two plant pots i don't judge um, a couple of chairs, maybe a projector on the wall over here, maybe. So then everyone's like sat around the meeting, just watching the board, like, yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save it, save as. Now, so, um, these are all my projects. Um, I'm pretty sure I had them in my thing. So, let's say boardroom, oh one. Boardroom oh, 01. And then we s click on save. Okay. And that's it saved. 
Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching my tutorial. That's how that is how we design a room with the walls and the floor and the windows. So hopefully you come back to my next one where we do something totally different. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed it, subscribe. Okay, thanks very much. Peace.